morning everyone. Well, we it's Monday morning and it's normal stay off today. So we come to um Manchester Christmas markets whilst the kids are at school and the little ones are at nursery because we just thought it will just be too busy at the weekend. I think the kids will probably be a bit of a nightmare. So it's a bit quieter. Oh, sausage sandwich. I am feeling a bit peckish. Mmm. Oh, yummy. Yeah. Chocolate stone. So. Uh, <laughs> nice. Is that all cheap? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Tilly would be in her element. We're all really hungry, so I think we're going to look like um, some crepes. We're going to look for something like that. Oh, what's this? Mm, yeah. Oh, these look nice. Well, guys, disaster so far. We thought we found the way to watch it at the Christmas market. No, we found a little alleyway with something. We've moved them this year and we didn't realise we've moved to Piccadilly somewhere. So we're heading towards Piccadilly Gardens, hoping that that's where they are. But we'll learn up to find the car yeah, and we don't know where it is. We won't be able to find our way back to no. the box. Luckily, we've got an app. I think we need to go. Five Best views of crossing, we've already been nearly run over twice. Luckily the car's got an app, so we'll be able to find where the car is. Um, oh, that's another thing. We went to a car park, one of the NCP ones. Uh, you don't pay with the meter or get a ticket or anything like that. Download the app and pay that way. Sue so doesn't know she's done it. Sue <laughs> so doesn't know she's done it right, so we might end up paying a freaking fortune yet. Anyway, well, I think I've done we're next right, to that's Primark over there. Yeah. I have no idea where we are. I think I reckon we must be quite close. There's not one sign we have not seen a single sign saying Christmas markets this way. Oh, I think absolutely I nothing. Maybe we should just invest. Let's in go around this corner. No, let's go this way. I think it's down, down here, Amy. Oh. Yeah, we'll try. But if it's not here, here, I don't know what we're going to do. We're just going to be Primark, guys. Because obviously we've got to be back at three o'clock. Pick up the kids, and I think we need to allow, allow ourselves about an hour to find the car. I know. <laughs> Oh, what a joke. <laughs> what a joke. We thought it was a five minute walk. We walked yeah, around all else fails. Minutes. We can go around Primark, nothing which is opposite. Ever, nothing ever goes smoothly for us. Whenever we like do something yeah, actually, like this, it? never ever. It's simple, but well, there it is. We there. found it. Well, we found yeah. something we liked, so anyway, look. That'll do. <laughs> Manchester Market, it says. Oh, it is. Yay, we're here. Yay. We've got two rows to treat ourselves to some. I think we need a stiff drink after that. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we're here. Oh my goodness. I think we might get some churros with hot chocolate. Mm. Come on. We're going to need more than churros for our dinner, Yeah, we can get them as starters. We'll get them as starters, shall we? I was going to get a Yorkshire pudding wrap, guys. It was huge, and I was like, I've got time to do that. I did watch the project. Those projects look nice, don't they? Yes. Oh, right. Hiya, yeah. Oh, yummy. Right. Bailey's fudge, no. No, look, Bailey's fudge. Here's some of that as What are you getting now? And then what about this one now? Which one? That looks good, doesn't it? Potty cream fudge. That has got to be my favourite one though, I must admit. <gasps> Chocolate orange fudge. What are you looking at? Yeah, that one Which there. one did you want in? Yeah, this looks what really good. What about this one? That looks really good. I looked on top, wasn't it? Mmm, that looks nice. No, it's got a full-on Mars bar there. That looks so good. That full thick. And then get and the orange one. Yeah. Right, that's it. I'm going to stop now. Be stopping. Yeah. Go on, fill your bag up now. Fill it up. You can fit a few more in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. There you go. There you go. That's just the uh, millionaire one, that one. Right. So I think you've got it. No, no. Oh, that's so nice. What have you found? That's how through this. I'm going to see that getting 
How cool is that? Yeah. <laughs> it's quite funny actually. What does the guinea pig want to Hang on. That says what's it say? Wabbit watches. What's that saying? Sniffing activity centre pointed to the phone. <laughs> <laughs> so you're less wonderful. Well, we're in the car going home because we've got to pick the kids up from school and we're due to get home at 2.45 and they finish at 3 so we're just hoping that we don't hit any traffic. Don't think, looking by that, there is any. So we should be fine. Anyway, I bought this. <laughs> Look at this. Dash hound through the snow. And all went and got some some of his chocolate waffle. <laughs> didn't you know? I did. Very much. I didn't really. These I don't know. I think I had higher expectations of Manchester Christmas markets. And maybe it's because we just didn't have that much time. We only had like two hours? Yes, yeah, like that. To look round it. And they dotted kind of all over um, the well, we don't city really centre, know, do we? basically, because they, they were just everywhere. But from what I remember it, a few years ago, we've not been to Manchester Christmas Markets and all for about three years. Probably. It could even be four. For, for a good few years. It's anyway. when it was in front of the town hall. Yeah. When it was in front of the town hall, I remember it being really, really big. There've been like lots of different stalls. And I don't know. I'm just I'm just not. Wasn't yeah. None of us were like over impressed with it. It wasn't. It wasn't great. But maybe it was because it was during the day. It's not at night. The atmosphere isn't there, and it wasn't overly busy. Which I'm glad it wasn't overly busy. But maybe it was that. Anyway, we did have um, some chocolate waffles and the hot chocolate, and it was nice. But anyway. Um, like I say, we're on the way home to pick the kids up from school. Katie phoned me because she works at the nursery where Heidi and Bonnie go. And um, Katie phoned me and I was like thinking, is everything all right? I was like, is everything all right? She was like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Just Connor wants to know if you can go around to yours with Daniel and watch football. And I was like, of course you can. That's fine. I was thinking, oh my goodness, has Heidi had some kind of accident at the nursery? But no, she's absolutely fine. But um, you know when you just your heart just dropped for a second thinking he's everything all right um but anyway a lot of building work going there on there is a there? lot of building work going on in manchester. trains everywhere it's such a lovely city i love manchester um anyway we're going to go home and them flats are nice in front aren't they oh. middle bud lock ellie was very lock. disappointed because we didn't have enough time to go to primark did we ellie oh, thank the lord ellie and amy or h and m do some good knitting We need to come through again when we've got like a full day to do it, don't we? I was just going to say something about... Go on, say it. No, I was just going to say about what we've got last time. Oh, right, yeah. Um, <laughs> we've just got lots of things planned for um, the next few kind of weeks, doing like lots of different Christmas things and stuff, which we'll be vlogging. I know loads of you have been like, oh, where's all the videos at? We're missing the videos, but we've just been so busy so filming. But when we've had a day off, we've just not been vlogging because, well, we've just wanted the break, haven't we, Noel? Mm. Anyway, Noel got a phone call as we were walking around the Manchester Christmas market saying that the oven at work isn't working. So he's going to have to go and sort that out when you get back, aren't you? Yeah. And then about half an hour <sighs> later, they ring me at the shop. The door handle's falling off at work. <laughs> the cat shut the front door. Who's done that? Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't so, know. So I've got to sort out all of that now. I'll be straight home, straight with me out with my DIY stuff and fix that. So what did you say, No, It's not really worth having a day off, no, is it? I'm not having next Monday off. It's not having next Monday off. Why? Because... Everything goes wrong when I'm not yeah. there. <laughs> anyway, hopefully you can fix the oven on. Because it's a brand new oven, so... I don't really know why it's not working. They've tried like all of the trip switches and things and they're all fine, so... Goodness knows, but anyway, we'll let you know how we get on with them. Oh, well, what a crazy night. Uh, we got back from Manchester and then straight away I went up to the bakery to try and have, well, to have a look at this oven and see what was going on. Anyway, got to the bottom of it. Still don't understand what it means. But uh, I rang my, uh, a guy. He comes out and fixes his um, catering equipment. Right, see if we get this because I don't understand it. Basically, we only turn the oven off 
Hang on. We only turn the oven off from the dial at the front. Um, that's all we ever do. Not at the main switch thing that's on the wall, like a, an isolation switch. Seemingly, uh, I can't explain it because I can't remember how he said it, but electric can get through, even though you think it's switched off, it can get through and heat up the heating elements. Yeah, that's what he was saying. It bypasses it and heats it up, and uh, and then it's obviously tripped out because it has thermostat. I'm sleeping. Hang on, this doesn't sound right. I'm a bit hot here, so it's tripped out because we haven't actually had the oven on since uh, Friday because we used the shop one on Saturday for the shop. And Jack and Luke said to me when I was in Manchester, said, "Well, the oven's hot. It was hot when we opened it this morning." Uh, but it hadn't even been on, so that was a bit old, a bit weird. So anyway, that gets that explains somehow. He's saying something's trapped. I don't know what he meant. I'm gonna ask him tomorrow, and I'll let you know properly. So anyway, he's coming out to fix that tomorrow. Fingers crossed that he don't need any um, spares. He said if it's um, I don't know what he called that either. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm on about. No, no. He says, he, says it, he doesn't. He doesn't think it's heating element. That, it's something else. I can't remember what you call these things. I ain't no professional fixer. fix her in. So if it's that, you can then fix that, then we can get cracking again. Uh, door handle, we'll have to fix that at work tomorrow because that's snapped as well. So that was a bit awkward to try and lock the front door this tonight. What a nightmare. Then they get home and Heidi's had a sleep, so that's why she's still around, driving us bonkers. She's been running around with the Santa thing in front of the fire tonight. Going putting him to bed, to sleep. putting him to bed, saying, telling him to go to sleep, and then running around with him. <sighs> Bonnie's nodded off. Look at this. Just typical as we're about to go to bed, the laundry starts. Me too. I need to put the uniform in the giant. Anyway. That dishwasher needs emptying, and I'm not. No, nothing. Like Josh. <laughs> There's a lovely job for a dishwasher. <laughs> well, I'm not joking. I just tried to clean that. Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, somebody cooked some, I know, somebody cooked some chicken stuff in it and welded it to it. No, because it just don't come off. No, it won't, it needs soaking. No, I'll just soak. Anyway, back to Christmas markets where we went today. I'll probably give it like a 5 out of 10 yeah, to be honest. Yeah, well, I've had loads of people on Instagram, I've put like a story from Instagram saying that we were going there today and saw many people on message to say that it was actually really great that they've been and they were really disappointed with it. So it seems like it wasn't the first thing we were looking at this point with it, I think. Unfortunately, it's too bad. But I think it's because they've changed it all, haven't they? Yeah. Because they're doing the, doing the town hall, haven't they? So, it's all got kind of split all around in Manchester. But really it just didn't seem as good, did it? Never mind that. I'm getting this on video. Josh <laughs> emptying the dishwasher. <laughs> you did tell me to. And I mean, I'm waiting for my pizza to cook, so I might as well. Oh, well, there you go, you might as well then. Because normally what would happen, it'd go along to, oh, he needs emptying. Shut the door, put his plate by his side in it. Like, like most of them do when we've gone to bed. And it, right, rat bag. Did you hear that? No, I'm going to bed now. Good. You need your jammers back on wherever you've gone. Come on, Tilly. Everyone's, oh, Bonnie's nodded off here, look. Tilly's doing whatever you're doing. One hound, as Sue's new cushion. Oh, she's sleeping. Right, we're going to end the vlog here, guys. See you again very soon. Bye for now.